Hey guys, so just a quick video for today. Um, so I work as a doctor and doctors in the UK can use green lights uh, when we're going to emergency calls. Uh, so one of the big issues I had when I bought the Tesla is um, the really cool windscreen means that I can't fix my old um, green light on the roof because it was a magnetic one so obviously it needs to go on a natural roof and not just uh, on the glass. Um, so I've got these uh, new lights so there's two in the kind of grill um, one on the inside of the windscreen and then there's two on the back which I'll show you in a minute um, so I'll just um, basically show you how I fitted them and you can kind of take a look at um, what they look like because I guess it's quite unusual um, to see well to see green lights in the first place because I guess um, people don't really see them that often and not usually on a Tesla um, so yeah so this is the front um, and then these are the back ones and I kind of experimented with um, how the back ones were I'll show you that in a second um, but yes yeah, so these lights were actually from eBay they were really cheap like the the in grill ones I think it was like eight pounds for four of them and the one that goes on the windscreen was 11 something like that um, so yeah they're good for anyone who needs them and I guess um, anyone who doesn't need them because I think you can order blue ones if you really want to if you're looking to kind of get in trouble with the police feel free to buy some blue ones um, so yeah I'll show you uh, how I fit them so here are the four um, grill lights just temporarily wire them up to this um, car charger um, and yeah there you can see they're, they're really quite bright and you can change the flash pattern and it has a memory so when you turn the lights off the flash stays as it was okay so that one there was the one I've tried first um, I'll show you that one actually first. It looked kind of cool, but how do I get out? Key. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So yeah, this is the uh, first thing I tried. Um, I decided to put this one in the front of the car because it just gets quite bright and I need people to kind of see me, but let me know what you think. So yeah, that was that one, but I thought that one could go at the front, and then we can kind of jam these ones in against the window. So we push that one like that, and then I'm going to take that big one out in a minute, I'm just using it to kind of help me space these ones, and then this one, same kind of thing, uh, just go a little bit forward. like that, and then push it down to there, right let's try this, let's take this out, oh. Okay, let's go outside again and see. Oh, um, so at this point, I set the um, car alarm off because um, I think I pressed the lock button and then I was kind of banging around in the car. My God, that thing is so loud. <laughs> oh God. Um, so yeah, there was a bit of an interruption while I kind of scrambled around in the car with all these green lights slashing on it and the um, radio playing this weird like rock music at full blast. Uh, anyway, I managed to turn it off. Um, so let's come back and see how we did after that. 
Sorry, I just set off the alarm and it scared the shit out of me. So anyway, let's um, let's go outside and take a look at these lights. And I think I prefer these to the kind of big one because you don't really need them that bright in the back. Uh, by the way, that noise isn't the lights, it's my washing machine. Okay, so this brings us to the front grill lights, um, which were a bit of a challenge to fit. Um, mainly because of the fact that it's not a kind of real grill that you'd find in a traditional internal combustion engine car. Um, obviously in those cars the grill goes straight into the engine bay so it's easy to kind of thread wires through and stuff um, but on these cars um, it's it, I think it's an air intake but it goes downwards and just goes down for quite a while so you can't you know just shove wires through there's nowhere to put them um, so what I had to do is I had to remove the Tesla badge um, and there's a tiny hole um, behind there to thread wires which I'll show you uh, in a second so yeah um, so I took the badge off and where the badge kind of slots in there there's a hole that goes um, all the way through into the back um, which was a quite tight squeeze to kind of get the wires and then the badge back in but it worked um, so on the lights themselves um, I had these kind of metal plates and I just used um, 3M tape to attach, um, sorry the camera is a bit crap here, but I attached one side of the metal plate to the light and then I used the tape to kind of tape the other end of the metal plate just to the kind of plastic in the grill. Um, and it seems to have held okay, they've only been in for like a week or so, but I've driven you know, high speeds in rain and stuff and they've not moved, so, so we'll see how, how they go. And so this is the lights in place with the Tesla badge um, kind of screwed back in. Uh, so I needed to find a way of getting the wiring into the uh, passenger compartment. Uh, so we're back outside now near the headlight. Um, there was plenty of room around the back of the headlight. Look at that shit workmanship though. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like glue leaking out of the headlight assembly. Um, so yeah, it kind of fit fine around here, I shoved it under a bit of rubber trim. And then this thing, um, which was some chrome, literally just pulled off as easy as it looks there, which is, uh, well it was kind of lucky for this job, but um, again, like, I don't know, I would have expected that to be screwed. Uh, ignore that kind of tape that I've used there, I'm just doing a temporary fitting now just to see if everything kind of goes in place before I kind of solder the joints and tape it up properly. Um, so yeah, that went um, through there fine. Um, and now it's inside the car and that thing just clipped back in place. Uh, hopefully it won't fall off. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, so the lights are in place. Um, they seem to be bright enough for people to notice, which is bonus. Uh, and nothing's kind of fallen off yet. Um, let me know if you've got any questions about um, kind of how to do it or green lights in general or anything uh, and I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe if you want to and I'll see you next time.